I step up, the weight comes off, and Don Cerrone scoops the leg and spins. Once he kind of got on board here, the big slam happened. Today, we want to keep Brian nice and healthy. So, boom! Are we doing film today? Huh? Film today? Yeah. That's good too. You ready? Ready. Are we what, filming? What day is it today? Today is Sunday. It's a beautiful day. What are you talking about? It's a grappling holy day. It's grappling holy day. It's Sunday, I guess. It's like church. For jujitsu, we, we train on Sundays. This is our, our, uh, our faith. Okay. All right. You ready? Are, are we filming? We're filming. We're live. Don't mess with me. No, we're okay. not messing. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Last night was the uh, the UFC Ultimate Fight Night. Guys, Donald Cerrone, Mike Perry. Donald Cerrone with the incredible armbar in round number one. I know you guys saw it out there, but I want to do a little breakdown on the armbar, and I want to talk about the defense. It's very loud in here, so hope you guys can hear me. Um, let's do it. I've got Superman right here. This is Superman. We call him Ryan Gonzalez. Um, he's a stud. So you're gonna get me in, you're gonna be Donald Cerrone today, okay? How about that? All right. I'll be Mike Perry, you be Donald Cerrone. Yes, sir. All right, let's do, do it. it. Okay, is this good? Right here? Okay. Um, guys, he's caught. I know it was up against the fence. We're not gonna worry about that. Uh, he's in the guard and what I remember seeing, I saw the clip like two or three times. Um, Mike Perry was standing up. This arm was controlled, okay? This is the arm that wants to be armbarred. He wants to armbar this arm. This hand right here is the hand that maybe Mike Perry's gonna strike with. So he's controlling it in some manner, okay? Now, Mike Perry's got good pressure with the hips. So go ahead and like arch your hips like, like yeah, like, you know, it's hard for you to go to an armbar right now. Like, go towards the armbar. Yeah, it's hard. See how like I'm putting all this hip pressure. Look at my feet. My feet are wide, okay? When you guys see the feet wide like this, okay? You know that there's too much pressure on Donald Cerrone. So he, it's hard for him to move, okay? But at the same time, with all this forward pressure, I can't strike and get out of the situation. So don't let me hit you. See, it's like really hard to hit him. So at some point, Mike Perry said, I've got to get out. I've got to posture up so I can throw a strike. So don't, don't even do the armbar. If I stand up, and he's holding me, I can now pull. With my feet here, I can pull away. Hold tight. And then I can throw punches and bombs. Okay? So at this position, he can't armbar me yet. He can try, but I've got good hip pressure and it'll probably fail. But if I step up, the weight comes off and Don Cerrone scoops the leg and spins. Immediately catching this armbar. So that's really important to understand, guys. Once the weight came off, the armbar can be snapped. Now, once he kind of got armbar here, the big slam happened. Today, we want to keep Brian nice and healthy. So, boom, I slammed him, right? He's gonna to go towards his belly. Now, here's the thing that happened, guys. Let me show you the escape that Mike Perry wanted. Here's the escape he wanted. Just holding on to that wrist nice and snug. Watch what I do. Go ahead, squeeze it, you can hold it. Look, turn my thumb down, okay? Make him go to his belly. Put my head down, cartwheel, look at my leg. Cartwheel over to the other side, and now he's done. 
I'm, the, the, the arm bar is gone. I'll get back on top or I'll hit him and I'll do my, do my work from there. That's what Mike Perry wanted. He was caught in the arm bar and that's what his uh, program, his app, he started running on the brain. He said, arm bar escape. Turn my thumb, step over the head, cartwheel the other side. One more time. Pressure. He pulls out, he spins. Oh, he drops him down. Cartwheel's over and he's out of the arm bar. But here's what happened, okay? They got caught, okay? Boom, I'm pulling out, I get arm barred. Now watch right here, here's the key detail. As he's going over to his belly, whether you do it with your left hand, it's easier to do with your right. You take that thumb, that thumb pad, and you pull on it. So that when you're going over to your belly, when Don Cerrone goes over, see how he's got, see that John? He's got the thumb. Because he's got that thumb controlled, it's a very unwise decision to try to step over the body. When I try, I'm actually breaking my own arm, okay? Certainly Donald Cerrone's doing the breaking, but when you're here and you go against the joint, see, you're trying to turn this way, but you can't, you are stuck, okay? It doesn't matter that I step all the way over, my arms are still in danger. Now, what would have been the better way to move? Well, it's real simple, guys. Look, I'm sure to quarterback this right now. What Mike Perry should have done. Turn your thumb so all you haters out there can tell me, oh, you go fight Donald Cerrone. All right, look, if my thumb turns this way, I cannot go that way. And that's all dependent on what this man does. If we're going over the belly again with the armbar, look at the thumb. He has full control of the thumb. The proper escape as he goes belly down, go ahead, go belly down. Start to arch, I push this leg down and I climb this way, okay? As he's pulled the thumb, yeah? I turn the thumb this way and then I pull out, okay? Or I can come forward and smash. So there's two directions you can go, all based on which way your thumb points, okay? My thumb points this way, let me demonstrate this in another way so you guys can understand. Look. Basic arm bar. What does he want, guys? He wants thumb up, right? He taps me out. What if my thumb goes this way? Which way do I go? I hitchhike. Okay, and I'm out of the arm bar. Okay, if my thumb goes this way, what do I do? Okay, you notice right here, look, I don't let him lock me up and control me, lock. That means I can't move. This elbow right here, I bring the elbow to the mat as I hit a little bridge, go and lock. Okay, and then as he's trying to arm bar me, he turns my thumb that way, I push the leg off, and I'm coming this way. Okay, that's the same idea, but in reverse, in the belly down position. You've gotta understand that so you know which way to go. That also means, if you wanna counter, if Ryan wants to counter me from doing this type of escape, he needs to turn the thumb. See how he turns that thumb, so my palm is up? Now, oh, I get caught. Or let's say I wanted to hitchhike. Let's say my thumb's in the hitchhike position. And all of a sudden, I want to hitchhike. He turns it the other way. And then when I hitchhike, I tap. And this is something you guys will see all the time when you see arm bars. And you see the guy tap, you're gonna see that. You'll see a, an, attempt, uh, an attempt of an arm bar escape, like a, a hitchhike. And how does he counter the hitchhike? He turns the thumb that way and leans this way. And then all of a sudden, you'll just see the guy tap. And in the same regard, You'll see a guy almost escape. Even sometimes he gets the leg off the head. But if he turns that thumb and goes palm up right here, turning the thumb into the hitchhike position, I'm gonna tap. Or you'll see someone like a Gary Tonin type of character who can get out of crazy arm bars and he will actually make the adjustments. He'll go one way and you turn my thumb so you're about to tap me, then he'll spin the other way. Okay? Same thing in reverse. Maybe I start with the hitchhike he starts to turn my thumb, maybe I'll come back this way and I'll sit up. Okay, you getting good angles, Sean? Yep. You're staring at my back? <laughs> okay, um, so guys, that arm bar was awesome. It was exciting. Very, very, very cool to see some, uh, some jujitsu finish in the first round of the UFC fight. Every single time that happens, I get excited. I know you guys do too. 
Um, so there's a little information on that armbar. So it's really based upon, you go, oh, you're armchair quarterbacking this. It doesn't mean this. After the fact, it's easy to break this stuff down. Guys, listen, this kind of information can help you get better. The thumb idea of which way you can turn your thumb is huge when it comes to armbar defense. And then the other thing is, what are you supposed to do then? Well, in the middle of it, if you feel the guy has full control of your thumb and you can't turn a certain way, you have to know which way to go but based upon which way he's controlling your thumb. So, very, very important. Um, thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something today. And thank you, Ryan. Superman, dude. No problem. Yeah. What are you going to do after this? Go fight crime? I'm going to go have ceviche. Ceviche. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, take it easy, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another great video. Check you out later.